giving me an opportunity to present my research work over here. So my research, research topic is image of linear derivations and Matthews of subspaces. So first of all, I'll give my notations for my presentation. Uh, for me, K is, K is a field of characteristic zero. K star is uh, all the non-zero elements. K star is the, all the non-zero elements in K and Kx is the polynomial algebra in n variables over K. And further I have defined my A to be a K algebra. Uh, K, uh, what is a K derivation? A K linear map D from A to A such that D of A plus B equals to D of A plus D of B. And uh, D of AB equals to B times D of A plus A times D of B. This is called a K, uh, K derivation of A. Further, I'll define a Ke derivation. Again, it's a k-linear map delta from A to A such that delta of A plus B equals to delta of A plus delta of B. And delta of AB is B times delta of A plus A times delta of B minus delta A delta B for all A and B in A. So these Ke derivations, they have a very nice structure. So uh, we can easily classify them because uh, every Ke uh, delta is a Ke derivation of A if and only if uh, delta is equal to identity minus phi for some k endomorphism phi of a. So using this we can easily classify all the k e derivations of a. Uh, now I would like to define linear k derivation. Uh, k derivation d of kx is called linear if d of xi is summation of j from 1 to n a, a i j x j where my a i j's are actually sitting inside k. The matrix A is called the associated matrix of the derivation D. Then this, if this corresponding matrix A, actually it is a nilpotent matrix, then I can uh, give this derivation as a uh, linear local, linear locally nilpotent derivation of Kx. So my work is mainly on the linear K derivations and the linear Ke derivations of Kx. Now I'll talk about the Matthews or subspaces. So these subspaces, they have been recently been introduced by Zhao in 2010. Uh, by a subspace of a K algebra, we always mean a K linear subspace. So this is a formal definition of Matthews or subspaces. A K subspace M of A is called a Matthews or subspace of A if the following equivalent conditions holds. If F is in A is such that F to the power M belongs to capital M for all M greater than equals to 1, then for every G in A, we have G F M is in capital M for all large M. Or the other statement, it says that if F belongs to A such that F to the power M belongs to capital M for large M, then for every G in A, we have G F M belongs to capital M for all large M. So these are both the equivalent statement for prove us uh, spaces of whether or Matthews or subspace or not. So these are some comments on the Matthews or subspaces. So it is a natural generalization of notion of ideals in a ring. So uh, an, another comment is that every ideal is a Matthews or subspace, but not all the Matthews or subspaces are ideals always. So I would like to give an example for the same statement. So I've considered an integral domain R of characteristic zero and A and uh, A be the algebra of n cross n matrices with entries in R and a subspace M of A of matrices which are trace zero matrices. So if, uh, uh, if there exists a matrix such that all the powers of it also are having trace zero, then actually it will turn out to be a nilpotent matrix. And we can clearly say that the set subspace of nilpotent matrices is, they'll not form a ideal of A, but they actually form a subs uh, this, Matthews or subspace of A. So now I'll uh, talk about the two conjectures which have been proposed by Zhao in 2018. So the first one, it says that the LFED conjecture, uh, D is a linear K derivation of Kx, then the image of the derivation D is a Matthews of subspace of Kx. And the second conjecture, it says that let D be a linear locally nilpotent K derivation of Kx, then D maps every ideal of Kx to a Matthews of subspace of Kx. So I mainly worked on the LFED conjecture for the polynomial algebra in four variables. Uh, also uh, Zhao at all, they showed that if K bar is the algebraic closure of K and the L LFED conjecture it holds for A bar, then it also holds for A. So using this statement, we can always work in a overall algebraically, algebraically closed field. 
So before starting with the results, I'll give, just give a short definition. A set lambda 1 to lambda n, where lambda is are in k, is said to be linearly independent over n0 if there exists no non-trivial combination over n0 that equals to 0. So we have proved the following result, that there will be a linear k derivation of kx if the eigenvalues of the associated matrix of D are linearly independent over N0, then image of D it always forms the ideal of Kx. Moreover, the image of Dx is actually the ideal generated by X1 to Xn. Now uh, we will talk about the uh, linear K derivations of the polynomial algebra in four variables. So up to conjugation of matrices, we can clearly see that there are, there are five possible Jordan forms of a four cross four matrix. So corresponding to this, I have defined five linear k derivations of kx up to conjugation. So to prove that any key linear uh, image of any linear k derivation forms a Matthews-R subspace, I need, it, it, it is enough for me to consider only these five derivations. So uh, it has been already been proved by Van der Sen and Zhao in 2011 that image of D1, it forms a Matthews-R subspace of R. So now we have worked on D2, D3, D4, and D5. We have showed that uh, for D1 that if lambda 1 is in K star and lambda 2 and lambda 3, they both are 0, then image of D2 is an ideal of R generated by X1 and X2. Uh, so, uh, and the next statement which we have showed is that if lambda 2 is in K star and lambda 1 and lambda 3, they both are 0, then image of D2 is an ideal of R generated by X2 and X3. The second statement, this is about the uh, derivation D3. So here we have proved that if lambda 1 is in K star and lambda 2 is 0, then image of D3 is an ideal of R generated by X1, X2 and X3. And if lambda 2 is in K star and lambda 1 is 0, then image of D3 is a Matthews or subspace of R. And the third one uh, is like if lambda 1 and lambda 2, they both are 0, then image of D3 is a Matthews or subspace of R. So similar type of statement we have for D4 also. And for D5, we have proved that as there is only one eigenvalue for D5. So we have proved that if lambda 1 is in K star, then image of D5, it forms an ideal of R generated by X1, X2, X3, and X4. So I would like to also comment that wherever I have mentioned that it forms a Matthews R subspace of R, it is actually not forming an ideal. It is just forming a Matthews R subspace. And this is a short outline of the proof. So to prove these statements, we have defined varying weights on the uh, K algebra on R corresponding to the, these derivations which I have mentioned in this table. And this uh, the degrees or weights, they help me a lot to prove, uh, complete my proof. And the second thing which I have used in my proof is that the uh, factorial conjecture which has been proved for homogeneous polynomials in two variables recently by Liu and Sun in 2020. Now I'll talk about the linear KE derivations of R. So again, I'll let, del let delta be a linear KE derivation, then delta equals to identity minus phi for a K endomorphism phi of R. Then again, as corresponding to the, we discussed that there are five possible Jordan blocks of the uh, four cross four matrix corresponding to, to that, we have five different uh, K endomorphisms of uh, phi of R up to conjugation. So these are precisely the five different this. Now uh, if delta I, uh, let delta is equal to identity minus phi I, then up to conjugation a linear K derivation of R is conjugate to delta I for some I between 1 to 5. Again to prove that image of delta is a Matthews R subspace, image of delta for any K derivation of R to prove that it is a Matthews R subspace, it is enough to talk about the image of delta is. So SN at all in 2018, they proved that image of delta 1 is a Matthews R subspace of R. And further in 2022, Tiana et al, they also derived the result that image of delta 2, it also forms a Matthews or subspace of R. So we have mainly worked on delta 3, delta 4, and delta 5. So we have proved that uh, for delta 3, that if lambda 1 P and lambda 2 Q, is, uh, product is not equals to 1 for all P and Q in N, then image of delta 3, it forms a Matthews or subspace of R. And again, the second statement, it says that if there exists P and Q in N, there's such that lambda 1, uh, P is equals to 1 and lambda 2, Q is equals to 1, then image of delta 3 is a Matthews or subspace of R. Similar kind of statement we have for delta 4 also. 
So again over here with the same conditions we have proved that image of delta 4 it also forms a Matthews-R subspace of R. And uh, one more statement we have for delta 5 it says that if lambda 1 p is not equals to 1 for all p in n then image of delta 5 it forms a Matthews-R subspace of R. So to uh, uh, prove this part, uh, second part over here, this second case and uh, same ca second case for delta 4, it was not that easy for us. We actually uh, defined new automorphisms. Precisely we worked on these automorphisms corresponding, uh, to, corresponding to the matrix, this the new automorphisms and using these matrices, we proved that image of delta 3 and image of delta 4, they form a Matthews of subspace of R. And then again using the same weights as we defined for di's, we proved that image of uh, these derivations, they form a Matthews of subspace of R. So that's all and this is the references.